Welcome to Travel Learn Repeat. Please like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Hello friends. In the previous video, we discussed the basics of AI. In this video, we'll dive deeper into generative AI. What it is, what are different types of generative AI, some practical uses, and the risks associated with it. We'll also discuss what is a large language models, which is referred as LLMs, and talk about some common models and explore why LLMs are sometimes referred to as foundational models. Additionally, we'll talk about contextualization in generative models, what it is, why it's important, and the different techniques used to contextualize generative AI. Let's begin with what generative AI is. Generative AI refers to a class of artificial intelligence models and systems that can create new content, such as text, images, audio, and even video, by learning patterns from existing data. These models generate new outputs rather than just analyzing or classifying data, which sets them apart from other types of AI typically used for prediction, categorization, or detection. Generative AI can produce new text, images, audio, music, or videos. Some examples of generative AI applications include content creation. It can help write articles, blogs, or creative pieces. You provide information on the topic, and it generates content for you. It can also suggest outlines if you're looking for guidance. Entertainment. It can create art, music, or videos based on your specifications. Design and marketing. It assists in designing visuals, advertisements, and promotional materials. Education and research. It automates writing and research tasks and generates learning materials. Healthcare. It helps with drug discovery, simulating medical data, and generating medical reports. Though generative AI has many benefits and is gaining momentum and wider adoption, it also comes with some serious risks. Deep fakes. These are AI-generated fakes that look or sound real, raising concerns about trust and authenticity in digital media. Deep fakes can be used for both harmless entertainment and more malicious purposes. Bias and hallucination. Generative models can reproduce and even amplify biased responses or create false narratives. This is often referred to as hallucination. Accuracy and consistency. Because generative AI is predictive in nature, there are concerns about its accuracy and consistency. The same question might yield different answers, and some answers might be incorrect. Despite these risks, as we move forward into this fascinating world of AI and generative AI, I believe it will shape the future, bringing more autonomy and efficiency to various sectors. One key type of generative AI is the large language model, LLM. Since OpenAI released ChatGPT for public and enterprise use, LLMs have gained tremendous momentum, revolutionizing how we interact, work, and operate across industries. In the next segment, we'll explore large language models in greater detail. A large language model, referred as LLM, is a type of artificial intelligence model designed to understand, generate, and manipulate human language. LLMs are trained on vast datasets of text, which allows them to predict and generate text that is coherent, contextually relevant, and human-like. They excel in a wide range of language tasks, such as answering questions, generating essays, summarizing content, translating languages, and even coding. These models rely on deep learning, particularly transformer architecture, to capture complex patterns and relationships between words in a given context. Examples of LLMs include OpenAI's GPT-4, Google's Palm, and Meta's Llama. LLMs have billions or even trillions of parameters that allow them to capture intricate details of language, syntax, semantics, and world knowledge. LLMs are pre-trained on vast datasets to learn how language works. After pre-training, they are fine-tuned for specific tasks like customer support or creative writing. LLMs are capable of maintaining context in a conversation or document, allowing for more coherent and relevant responses. They can remember what was discussed earlier in the interaction. Once trained, LLMs can be adapted to different tasks without needing to be trained from scratch, making them highly versatile. LLMs perform well across a wide array of natural language processing tasks, such as text generation, translation, summarization, and even sentiment analysis. LLMs are capable of generating creative outputs, such as writing stories, drafting emails, or suggesting solutions. 
often with little human intervention. What are foundational models? Foundational models refer to large, generalized AI models that serve as a base or foundation for multiple downstream tasks across various domains. These models are trained on a broad set of data and can be fine-tuned for more specific applications. The term foundational implies that these models provide a general purpose capability that can be customized for specialized use cases. LLMs are often called foundational models because they are large and pre-trained on massive data sets. They can be adapted or fine-tuned for a variety of specific tasks, from writing assistance to coding to medical diagnosis. Their general purpose nature makes them a foundation for many AI-driven applications. For instance, GPT-4, Palm, and Llama can all serve as foundational models because they can be customized to perform anything from language translation to customer support automation. Here are some common real-world applications of LLMs. Chatbots and virtual assistants. LLMs power conversational agents like ChatGPT or Google Assistant, helping users by answering questions, providing recommendations, or performing tasks like setting reminders or sending messages. Content generation. LLMs help with content creation, such as writing articles, blogs, marketing copy, social media posts, or even creative stories. Language translation. Tools like Google Translate use LLMs to translate text between languages in real time, enhancing communication across language barriers. Summarization. LLMs can automatically summarize long documents, research papers, articles, or meeting transcripts, saving users time. Coding assistance. LLMs like GitHub Copilot, Amazon Q Developer assist developers by auto-completing code, suggesting improvements, or generating entire functions based on simple prompts. Customer support. Many companies use LLMs to automate customer service by providing intelligent responses to common queries, reducing the need for human agents. Search and information retrieval. LLMs enhance search engines by providing more accurate and context-aware results, often summarizing answers directly from diverse data sources. LLMs have a profound impact on daily life, offering new levels of efficiency, creativity, and interaction in a variety of sectors. As we discussed earlier, generative AI, such as large language models, LLMs, are pre-trained on vast amounts of data. However, this pre-trained data may not always align with the specific context or scope you need, especially if it lacks the particular information relevant to your purpose or organization. For instance, if you want an LLM to answer questions based on your company's internal documents, the model might not provide accurate responses because it wasn't trained on that specific data. This is where contextualization becomes essential. Contextualization allows LLMs to access and integrate external data or context that isn't part of their original training. By doing so, it ensures that the model generates responses that are directly relevant to your specific needs. Here are several ways to add context to LLMs. Retraining the model with your data. This involves fine-tuning the model using your own data sets making it more specialized. For example, a law firm might retrain an LLM with its legal documents to assist in generating accurate legal briefs. Prompt engineering. Crafting specific prompts can guide the model to produce responses that are more aligned with your context. For instance, instructing a model like ChatGPT to act as a technical support agent can lead to more relevant responses within that domain. Retrieval augmented generation. RAG, this technique combines LLMs with information retrieval systems, enabling the model to pull in external data from documents, databases, or other sources to provide accurate and up-to-date answers. For example, a customer service bot might use retrieval augmented generation to fetch the latest product details from a database when interacting with customers. If some of these terms sound unfamiliar, don't worry. In our next session, we'll dive deeper into these concepts and explore them in greater detail.